Make sure you tap that bell so you never miss a video. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry and I'm bringing you guys something a little different today. This is a game that just dropped on Steam a couple of days ago. It's called Rico. This game isn't in early access, but you guys can see on the screen here, this game has an art style that reminds me of a game that Ubisoft actually released a long time ago called 13 and it was stylized like in Roman numerals X111. The game came out in like 2003, I think. I remember buying it at Walmart. They had a sale on it. I bought it for like a dollar fifty, and it was some of the most fun times that I had. You could like play PvP against bots, and it was split screen co-op, and it was fucking awesome. So when I saw this game, it reminded me of that right off the bat. I had to pick it up. This game is currently on the Steam store, twenty dollars Canadian. It's about eighteen or seventeen dollars US. They're having a sale on right now, ten percent off. And I gotta say, I'm actually having a really good time playing it. You're, it's basically a buddy cop movie. So two cops, one case, and only 24 hours to bust the bad guys, become a loose cannon police detective, and face off against criminal gangs in this procedurally generated action movie FPS. It's a cooperative experience. You can go in with a buddy. I haven't played cooperative yet. I feel like it's going to be a fucking blast if I do. But yeah, you can join forces with a friend and take down those crooks buddy cop style. It's actually sitting in a very positive review, which usually when I see that on new games coming out from indie developers, I can't kind of get a little bit weary, especially FPS. I know a lot of people are very finicky when it comes to FPS experiences, but the reviews are right on the money. This game is a fucking blast. It's procedurally generated, like the description says. So every time you go into an operation, it's like brand new buildings. It's generating the world, generating how many bad guys are in there, generating the objectives, and you basically just walk in, kick doors down, and shoot motherfuckers. The best part about this game is it's, it's just simple. It definitely takes me back to the old days of playing like fucking Doom and Quake, except it's not that fast. It's just very simple point and shoot and have a good time. Ragdolls are flying everywhere. If you enter a room by yourself, you get this like adrenaline where it goes in slow motion and you're seeing bodies fly. The art style is like very cell shaded Borderlands, like I said, reminds me of the game 13 made by Ubisoft. This game actually, I guess, came out on the consoles as well. PlayStation, Xbox, and even the Nintendo Switch, which now that I'm thinking about it, this game fits on the Switch so good. It, very easy to run, uh, performs well well and I think it would just be good for like that co-op experience I'm actually like this is like a fucking hidden gem for me I had no idea this was coming out it's being made by the guys at ground shatter which as far as I can tell they've only made one other game before and that's a game called skyscrapers which came out in 2015 one thing I would like to see I know you can do co-op with one other person and on their store page they actually say like two loose cannons always better than one I would like to see like a four player cooperative mode where like you can play in this style of game but as like a SWAT unit or something I know we've been talking about like SRT and ready or not but in like this crazy over-the-top action movie style I would love to see even like three or four players just so I can play with more friends obviously and jump in and like have like maybe like a little bit more open areas like it's still like kind of claustrophobic but just enough to have multiple players in one one area. I think that'd be a really cool expansion. The game also features like daily play cases, not like loot crates, but like actual cases, basically like a mission where you can go and like get on the leaderboards, earn rewards. Uh, they say it keeps you coming back for more along with unlockable weapons, traits, and mission types to discover. So I've only played a little bit of the game right now. I've actually unlocked the Uzi, which I'm not very good with. The thing jumps like a motherfucker. So I just like using the pistol and just rapid firing on people. It feels really good to shoot especially when like bodies are flying everywhere there's like explosive barrels and then you basically go in and you have to like either collect evidence or defuse bombs I haven't really seen any other objectives other than that so far and then there's also like as you're clearing buildings there's like unlocked and locked rooms so you can like kick down most doors but some are like shielded so you gotta like find the computer bust the computer and then kick the door in like that this is what game development should be somebody who started and made a game in 2015 it didn't get a lot of reception. I saw four user reviews on the Steam store page. So they took that, they built a side-scrolling fighter, and then they, they, they took the knowledge that they had, probably built the team up a little bit, and then released a full-fledged FPS. 
and and it's very simple it's not trying to do too much you walk around you hold e on objectives you pick things up and and that's it but what they did so well is that simplicity itself and that's why i love game developers like this people who can build games within a scope complete a project you didn't waste a year and a half going to early access you, you just you made something simple within scope and you did it and it actually turned out really well and you released it on consoles which is another feat if you guys are watching me and you're always asking about like hey is this game coming to console is this game coming to console i would urge you to check this game out and see what the price tag is on whatever console you're doing personally right now just thinking about it i would love to see this on the nintendo switch i would love to play it so if you guys have a switch i would fucking urge you to check this game out especially because it's a co-op vibe and that's what the switch is it's a mo mobile portable console that you can just play games with your friends so like this fits on there just so well i'm i'm like i'm like buzzing recording this commentary because it's not every day like i saw the game i'm like all right let's check it out let's make a video on it i thought it was going to be another bullshit cash grab garbage game and they surprised me 100 percent like i said this is a little bit different than what we usually do i'm usually going for like tactical hardcore realism and even though this is tactical you're kicking in doors clearing rooms it, it just has a little bit of like a layer of arcade and fun to it let me know what you guys think about it is this something that you would be interested in playing let me know in the comments below and if you guys enjoy the content man i urge you guys share these videos on facebook and twitter and like the videos and and just try to get the word out there that this is a channel that covers all sorts of fps from from tactical to kicking in rooms and sending ragdolls into exploding barrels. My name is Big Fry. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for everything, and I'll see you on the next one.